Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Ian here in Beijing. So, I have a confession to make. I lied. I said in my vlog last weekend that the autumn was coming, the temperature had dropped, and that it feels like the summer has done, it's gone. In fact, well, that wasn't fully true because after the temperature dropped, it has actually bounced back and we've got yet another summery day here in Beijing. So with that opportunity, I have decided to take a short journey from where I live to a place called Ho Hai, partly because I was recommended a cool cafe restaurant here by the one and only Bruce Connolly. And if you don't know who Bruce Connolly is, then you can check out a video that I made with him, Herp, link up here, and you get to know who Bruce is. Bruce is actually from my hometown in Glasgow, and he's been in Beijing for about 35 years, and he knows so much about Beijing. So when Bruce recommends me something to try, then I definitely go ahead and try that. Before I go and find this cafe, which I believe is close by, I wanted to have a quick wander around this place called Ho Hai because I wanted to spend a bit of time beside the lake. I wanted to be beside some, some water. Um, I really love being beside water and I think I get that from my father. My father, who is no longer with us, was a sailor and he sailed the world twice over and often told us, his 12 children, yep, you heard that right, 12 children, he often told us about his journeys and his travels and his, his great times um, sailing the seven seas, as they say. So when I get the chance to spend some time around water and remember my old da, my old father, then I look forward to getting that opportunity. So what this is what today is about, really. Um, and I also look forward to get back home to visit my mum. My mum is 94. Miss her dearly. She's still going strong. So that's why I've came here to see a restaurant that's been recommended and spend some time next to the, the water. Interesting thing about Ho Hai, it's a series of man-made lakes that, that join together if you run from the north, up there, and then heading to the south, then from the north to the south, there is a whole series of lakes. Uh, and the north, there's a, it starts on the lake called uh, Si Hai Sea. And then there's Ho Hai Lake, which is this. And then that joins to Chin Hai Lake, and then Bei Hai, which is the famous lake with uh, the big white pagoda. And I've made a video and shared that with you before. And then Chin Hai runs into a lake called the Middle Sea. And then that joins Nan Hai Lake, which is the small lake in the south. So everything runs north to south and it runs alongside north to south to the Palace Museum, uh, what we would call the Forbidden City. And that walk was a walk that I once done from one end to the other, and it's a fantastic walk. It's probably one of my most favorite walks in Beijing city. So if you get the chance and you're in Beijing for a length of time, then do that walk, I recommend it. Because you walk along the lakes and you also have the time to cross and walk through some of the hutongs. And, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> here. Um, so you have the time to, to meet local people and walk through the hutongs and stuff. So I recommend it. The other note is that if you do start at the top, the north, then I would recommend hello. you stop at the museum. Hey, hello. <laughs> She's here. Then if you go to the north, then I recommend you stop at the museum. And it's dedicated to a guy called Go Shou Jing. And he was a famous uh, architect designer and he actually built the water system that feeds into the city. He was way ahead of his time. And so, in fact, he was so good at what he did. People came from all around to come and learn from him. So that is well worth seeing. And I, I've actually been there. I'll share a little bit of that with you now. So this is a fascinating place. I love being around here and as you can see, the locals are very, very friendly. 
and I just love it. Love being by the, the water, reminds me of my father. Can't wait to go home and see my mum. Miss the family dearly, but I'm also gonna have a walk around and then go see this um, restaurant. So stick with me to the end of this vlog and I'll share some more of this surrounding area and then I'll, I'll show you the restaurant that I stop at. So thank you. There's a guy from they are swimming in the lake. I'm not sure if I would be that person swimming in there because you don't know what's in there. Although I think the rules are quite tight and what you can do in there, but swimming? I'm not sure. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago I've changed for the better this time I thought I would never be fine I strive just to say I'm alright So the restaurant's actually just a couple of streets um, back, further back from the the lake, the riverfront, so the lakefront, whatever. So it's up here somewhere. So the actual restaurant is in this hutong, so head in this direction. Stick with me, you'll get to see the restaurant that Bruce recommended me. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change. So I found the restaurant. It's actually a part of a, a boutique hotel, um, which is called the View Hotel, which is very close to the mm, Beehai, uh, Beehai Lake, right? That direction. I am going to go back into the restaurant, but I thought I would have a quick walk around and have a look at the the actual hotel. It looks pretty cool. It's a very small boutique hotel, but it's definitely something that um, if I was staying somewhere in Beijing, that I would pick something like this because it's quite unique. Been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But I'll be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. Went for a, a Thai pork Thai rice bowl, um, something light with a beer. But I can tell you, this pork is absolutely fantastic. Mm. It truly is really fantastic but I wouldn't I wouldn't expect anything else because I know the restaurant chain that owns Peach is the same restaurant chain that owns the TRB which is a world famous restaurant here in Beijing it also owns Hulu which again is a well renowned restaurant so I'm not surprised on how great the food actually is mm. Mm, really good. This is Ian, just finishing my little stroll about the different lakes here in, in Bohai, Beihai, different lakes, different names. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care, peace out, and look after your parents. Catch you in the next vlog. Guy singing. I think there's a lot of flags now out because of the Golden Week, the holiday. <laughs>